think I'm going to introduce my first guest tonight. His name is Emmett Furrow. He's a comedian from Winston-Salem. He is promoting a company called CCD Smiles. Everybody give it up for comedian Emmett Furrow. <laughs> Thanks for having me. It's so great to be your first guest on your first show. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, just um. Okay, Fitbit says my heart rate is up and my respiration is up, so confirmation, I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I do the working out thing. I do, I'm doing the exercising thing. I've got a new um uh, what do they call it? a physical trainer, a PT person, and I've gone to see him. And so he's doing an evaluation right off the bat. And he said, you know, what do you think your strongest body part is? And I thought, not well. <laughs> Probably my legs, probably my legs, probably. And he goes, well, what do you think your weakest body part is? And I went, no question, scalp follicles. <laughs> <laughs> they had one job. <laughs> so how many people are going, wow, Tweety Bird's taller in person. And <laughs> Um, it, it's, it's, very, it's, it's a hard thing to do to you people, you seem so nice, but I'm going to have to jump right into my show. The meat of the matter is, folks, I am a mutant. I used to be a part-time Indian, I don't want to talk about that. But I am a mutant. I, um, specifically, there's a thing that happened in one of my genes, in my DNA, and I can do things y'all can't do. Seriously. It's, it's like a one in a million thing, and I got it! Woo! Go. <laughs> don't, don't clap, you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so, you know, like a lot of teenagers, when I was young, I was like, oh, I wish I had a superpower. I wish one day I'd wake up and I'd have abilities, and then my mutant powers kicked in, and I have abilities, and y'all, they're lame. <laughs> really, really lame. Um, I'm going to show you what I can do. Um, if you're ready for it, take a few deep breaths, make whatever mental judgment you have to. What if you woke up one day and found out you could do this. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you? I bet you'd be stunned. <laughs> like you kind of are right now. Once again, real slow in case you feel like you missed something. Oh! I know! Go ahead and try it. Get that out of the way. <laughs> Bless you, I know. Some women will try and like, no, there's things in the way. <laughs> and I don't want to break anything because these are new. <laughs> I'm afraid that would mess with the warranty. And... I didn't just wake up one day and find out that I could do this. One day I found out you cannot. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't know it was different until I was 12 years old. 12 years old, I was on a school bus one day and I was yawning. <laughs> This guy goes, um, that's wrong. <laughs> that is very wrong, and you need to stop now. Shoulders ain't supposed to know each other. <laughs> they have different zip codes. <laughs> so it is technically a mutant ability, so technically I was able to get into the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. <laughs> Though I'll be honest, mostly it's because I had a rockin' math section on the SAT. Because uh, God knows the power didn't do it. <laughs> the power didn't do it. Because, you know, we'd go out on missions and it'd be like, Gene, Gene, use your telekinetic powers, raise that car, drop it in the river. Scott, use your I-beams, take out the robot legs. Storm, three tornadoes to take out the crafts. Emmett. Fold up and hide in the corner. <laughs> you seem like you're built for corner. <laughs> Fruit, roll up your way to safety. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So, you know, you try and figure out ways to use gifts from God, even when they're gag gifts. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do was go to a chiropractor's office. <laughs> But I'd never see the chiropractor. Just turn around in the lobby, come right out, right back out to the next patient, and go, man, I wouldn't even go in there. I will tell you what, he is having a bad day. Run, man, run like hell, run. So 
so um, it's been a big year for me, big year for me because this is the first show I've done, honestly, first show I've done since um, a little TV show came out a little while back called uh, Stranger Things. And you've seen in the first episode where the little guy did the arm trick? Yeah. That was me. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> He's a friend of mine now, and very proud to say. Um, so I've had to kind of rethink my, my comedy approach. I still enjoy doing, enjoy doing the jokes, but I think when it comes down to it, where my shoulders need to take me, because the deal is, my, I have cleidocranial dysplasia, which is a big word that means I ain't got no collarbone. No clavicles. I was born without them. When they do the story of my life on Masterpiece Theater, they're going to call it I Clavicless. <laughs> Did that joke in Kentucky, I heard wind in the trees. <laughs> I tried to explain it to him, like, y'all, come on, you know, I Claudius. It was on Masterpiece Theater. It was on PBS. A woman goes, oh, okay, 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 yeah. We don't get PBS here. <laughs> oh man, it's on satellite, it's on cable. She goes, yeah, yeah, it's on the TV. We just don't get it. <laughs> But I've decided that God gave me no collarbones so I could be an interpretive dancer. <laughs> Give me a public domain royalty free beat. <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire.